It's as simple as it is. Hi guys, what's up? This is Mark from the Wi-Fi Ninjas and today I wanted to show you how to configure DHCP on a Juniper switch that can be managed by Mist dashboard. So let's take a look at how my lab looks like. This is very simple, flat network. We have discussed that in our previous video. So if you have not watched the previous video, please do. This is where we have configured the VLAN a layer free logical virtual interface that is called IRB in newer Juniper switches is the same as the SVI from the Cisco world or RVI from all the Juniper world. Uh, so we have that all sitting on the switch already. I have access point, a random access point connected to a random port that is not being used in my production network. So I've plugged in a Cisco AP to port GE001, unused port. Let's take a look at my uh, LLDP neighbors. <laughs> Uh, show LDP neighbors. We can see two missed APs connected to ports eight and nine. These are my production access points. And we have Cisco AP plugged into port 001. Okay, let's take a look at the details of my LLDP neighbors. So this is uh, details for port nine. And we can see a missed AP, AX AP, whatever, really good AP by the way. And it has a management address, IP address of 192.168.1.230. This is provided by my uh, BT Smart Hub, whatever it's called. Okay, uh, then we have GE008. So that's another missed access point. And it has also a management IP address. And then when we continue scrolling down, we will see my Cisco AP connected to port GE001, and it doesn't have this management address segment. It's not here, okay? So I can see its MAC address, I can see its name, everything. It doesn't have an IP address, obviously, because it's a flat network and it doesn't have a DHCP pool configured for VLAN 666, okay? So how do we configure DHCP. I can just copy and paste the configuration to the CLI, you know, to the SSH session, and that, that would work. However, it's risky because MIST can overwrite my uh, configuration that it's not configured through the MIST dashboard. So let's do it through MIST dash. I will go back to, to my dashboard and in additional CLI commands, switches configuration, when you scroll down, you can put more commands to the switch, okay? So this is where I will be pasting my DHCP configuration, but before I do it, let's validate it on a switch, making sure that it's going to work indeed. Uh, so I will go to configure mode. I have copied my configuration to, uh, to the clipboard, so I will just, I will just paste it here. And while I've pasted it, let's let's just quickly discuss it. So DHCP is configured like like that. So I first do services, like everything is under uh, system services, then access address assignment. So first of all, I create as my DHCP local server group, Wi-Fi Ninjas, and I have an interface IRB666 in it. Then I have my pool. Uh, with a network in a subnet 10.10.10.0 slash 24. And finally, I specify the range of the IP addresses that I want to uh, assign to my clients, starting from 50 up to 250. Uh, gateway 10.10.10.10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. This is the SVI, RVI, IRB of my Juniper switch. And then DNS servers. And then yeah, another DNS. Okay, so free DNS servers. That's that's pretty much it. So the switch has taken all the configuration in. It seems happy. So I will do show uh, pipe it to compare to roll back zero. 
Okay, and this is what the switch would apply if I committed changes to my switch using CLI. I won't commit changes through here. I will do it through the dashboard. Okay, so I will now roll back the uncommitted changes. And instead, I will apply this DHCP config in the additional CLI commands window. I will make it bigger so you can see it clearly. Copy and paste. This is this is the same stuff that I have copied into the CLI uh, of my Juniper switch. Okay. Once I'm happy with that, I will close this window. It's here. I will scroll down and I will save that config. Okay, it shouldn't take too much time. Normally it takes around 15 seconds, maybe. So let's take a look when we have the configuration applied. So I want to see the address assignment, uh, pull test. Okay, so let's do exit. and show a configuration. I just want to find the stuff that I'm interested in. Uh, Wi-Fi Ninjas, or actually address assignment. Uh, of course, find address assignment. Address as, it sounds lovely. And we can see that we already have this configuration pushed down by Miss Dashboard to our beautiful switch. Okay, so I have a DHCP configured on the switch. Let's see if it works. So show LLDP neighbors details, and then I want my output to start with GE001. I can already see that my access point that didn't have the IP address before now has got the IP address from our configured pool with starting range of 10, 10, 10, 50. So that's exactly what it has. So this is it, guys. It's as simple as it is. You can configure multiple pools on your on your Juniper switch and you can use it to do interview and routing for you and assign IP addresses for you. So it doesn't have to be just layer two, simple single switch. Uh, that is managed by Miss Dashboard. You can validate your CLI commands uh, using SSH and show pipe to uh, compare rollback zero. Then you can roll it back by typing just rollback zero. We've discussed it in previous videos as well. And then you can apply this configuration in a Mist dashboard. And that's it. Should work. Voila. Thank you very much. And I will see you in the next video.